Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews, and today we've got the return of Monarch's Cheese Crisps. Yeah, so after we did our first video on the Monarch Cheese Crisps, they were kind enough to reach out on Instagram and say that they appreciated the video, mm. and that they would send us uh, more crisps as a thank you, although given the current state of the world, that ended up not happening. I believe there was some sort of turmoil and there was rebranding and stuff, but now they've sent us their new crisps and new packets uh, to review and presumably enjoy. I mm. uh, don't see why we wouldn't. The last ones were fantastic. Um, you can get these online in a, in a pack. They're, we, we, we talked in the last video about the, the pricing. They're, they're not cheap. Definitely more of a treat, but that's not to say they're not good value. Because there's a difference between being cheap yeah. and being good value. These certainly aren't cheap, um, but they are. You know, it's uh, comparable prices to things like so beef jerky and stuff. Beef, like yeah, so. you know, other other similar sort of high protein snacks that you consider more of a treat. So we've mm -hmm. got we've got four flavors to look at. Um, I think we looked at four flavors of the. Yeah. previous iteration uh, the, the packs are a bit different they're they're more like crisp packets although they do still have this tear off thing but the, the last ones were very sort of they, they, they were rigid they had a thing on the, on the bottom and they, they stood upright and the crisps were all stacked up these are more like uh, a bag of snacks yeah. um, which is good and they, they, they got a matte black finish to them and they got stickers on with the, the flavours and you've got the nutritional information on the back. You know, 50 grams of protein per 100 grams. It's a 30 gram pack, so you've got 15 grams of protein in a bag. Uh, 155 calories, you know, so that's similar, mm. similar to a 30 gram bag of jerky or yeah, something like absolutely. that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, was, we, was I right in thinking we enjoyed these with beer last time because it was something that they suggested would, is good? I, I'm pretty sure we did. We were both at home. Yeah. Um, this time, you're welcome to enjoy a beer. I will be driving. No, I've got, I've got, I've got one <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we've, we've got squash. We've, yeah. Squ what what flavour squash is it? Apple and black currant, the squirty squash. Very nice. What flavour would you like to open first? Mm. I'm thinking we should perhaps finish with the chili. I agree. Um, probably have the garlic before the chili. Yep. So that leaves onion and thyme. Probably start with the tangy mature cheddar. With, this is literally, in. literally just cheddar cheese. That's it. And the others are just cheddar cheese and the, the spices. So this one's just got onion and thyme. So the makeup of the crisps is identical to how we had them last time. They're so fragrant. As soon as you open that packet, it's just yeah. Mm. They're not they're not quite as uh, flat, which is I don't know. It, it makes them feel a bit more natural. Mm. Not that they didn't feel natural before, but before they they were like perfectly flat, perfectly round, and it possibly felt a bit at odds with them literally just being cheese. But these are a bit more like normal crisps in that they're a little bit irregular. So that, that's kind mm. of cool. I feel like maybe they're a bit thinner as well. Are they a bit thinner? I don't think so. Because some, some look thicker than them, I say. Mm. Maybe they just stop shaping them for whatever reason. They're still really good. Mm. So ingredients, dead easy, cheddar cheese, made from cow's milk, salt, and culture. That's well, that, that's the, the constituent parts of the cheese. The only actual ingredient is just the cheese. I know, that's what I was saying, yeah. made from cow's milk. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, fantastic. Still good. <laughs> mm. So, these are also low carb. How low carb? 
1.9 grams in a 30 gram bag. Is that low enough to be keto friendly? Yep, it is. Good, good. Ooh. Oh, this this smells good. This is the onion and thyme flavor. Mm. So last time all the flavors were good, but I think that the cumin one just was a bit lacking, wasn't it? It was, yeah. it was nice. It was very nice, but it was just like, it's just cumin. And that they had, I think the other one was just rosemary. So it, it was nice, but it felt like it needed a little bit of something. This one is onion and thyme, and we've got garlic and oregano. So the, the flavors are a little bit more complex while still being very simple. Uh, so I'm expecting these to be a little bit fuller in comparison. You can actually see the little bits of thyme and onion seasoning. Yeah. And it smells like cheese and onion crisps, mm. doesn't it? So. <laughs> mm. Yeah, these are really good. I'd say st straight away, um, again, we loved all the old flavours, but this already seems better. Mm. It, that, that's the thing, isn't it? In incremental improvements based on feedback and that sort of thing. Yeah. That, that's what you like to see. You can do. definitely tell where they're going with it. You know, like you say, they're making them a bit more complex, a bit more mature. Um, Just a bit more interesting and compelling. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So garlic and oregano. How garlicky will these be is the question. Ooh. Wow. That, that. I had a little, oh. lovely little note in the bag as well. It's worth mentioning the box had this logo stamped on it, which I thought was a nice touch. The Monarch logo there. Note from... Alex and Greg. Alex and Greg. Should I read that through the thing there? I, I, I can read forwards. <laughs> but no, um, we, we appreciate the thank you for sending us stuff, you know, and any videos we can make that don't cost us anything. You know... Uh, it smells so Italian. When I was a student, I'd do more than this just for a free meal, so, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. It smells like lasagna. <laughs> Which is, is a good thing in my book. I love lasagna. Yeah. If you've not seen our first video on these, um, you can watch that. But in summary, um, the, the, the cheese is really crunchy. But you might expect it to, to not be because it's a... We've looked at s kind of products in a similar vein, like bar, snack, high protein, snack type products. Um, these are very, very crispy, very rich flavor. Because yeah. it's just like mature cheddar and and that's you know it's it's salty and it's delicious um but it's it's not burnt like i you know if you're making a cheese toasty in the frying pan or something the cheese comes out the side and if you if you leave it there till the end it can end up burnt but then if you take it off at just the right time it's, it's still not crispy it's still gooey but the, these are crispy and not burnt it's, it's Really, really cool. But that's probably the closest thing you might have had if you haven't had specific cheese crisp products before. Is probably like just the the cheese dripping out of mm. the toasted sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Them fresh garlic and oregano ones are really good. The garlic's actually really apparent, not too mute at all. But it's not completely overpowering. Not, not where overpowering. you feel like you'll you'll have like proper bad dog breath for like the rest of the evening <laughs> um no that they're, they're really something out of that dare say they're my favorite so far 
I think I agree, to be honest. I really like those. I'm glad we've got a bag each of all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then finally, spicy chili and herbs. Ooh, smells a bit like marinara sauce in there. Okay. Chili, garlic, and rosemary. Hmm. Mm. Rosemary and chili is an interesting combination. Mm. When it said chili and herbs, I wasn't expecting rosemary to be be the one. It does smell of rosemary though, and it smells of chili. As soon as you put that on your tongue, you will feel the spice. Mm -hmm. It's straight away. I don't find that an uncomfortable level of spice, but I can imagine a lot of people will. Yeah, it's the kind of spice which definitely just warms the tongue more than your whole mouth. Yeah. And you know, around the side now, it's like the heat's really apparent there. Yeah. But it's not something that I'm going to be like. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not too hot to eat, but it could. You could definitely call it hot. Yeah. Like, like maybe the McDonald's McSpicy, that sort of level of heat where it's like, it's not I mean, too there's hot. A good, there's a good few chilli flakes in there. Yeah. It's not like it's too hot to eat. It's kind of that there's a lot of people who don't do hot food who are going to think it's very hot and maybe a few who might think it's too hot. But uh, for most people, this is going to be probably on... Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say. I had those um, Samyang hot chicken noodles. They, for me, were, like, um, as hot as I would be comfortable with. Maybe hotter than I would be comfortable mm. with. They, they, they weren't comfortable. Anything hotter than that is certainly going to be uncomfortable and painful. This is nowhere near as hot as that, no. for example. And I know a lot of people have those noodles and, you know, that that's why they make a two times and a three times spicy one because those aren't hot enough. So if you like a chili head or something, these are going to be nothing. But for, for people who don't do spicy food, these are going to be really quite spicy, I would yeah. say. Yeah. <clears throat> trying to think of something that's spicy. Maybe like a, uh, like a spicy vermicelli noodle. Mm. Maybe as spicy as that. So it's definitely there. And like you say, for some people, they're just like, it's too much. But if you're okay with spice, it's like it still warms you. You, you might a good level of heat. Might sweat a bit if you ate the whole thing in one go. Mm. I can definitely feel that. Like yeah, I'm sweat. I'm mm. making me sweat a little bit. So, yeah. I, but I choose not to eat spicy food these days, rather than not being able to like it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Um, without going into graphic detail, it's uh, it's not worth it nowadays, once you have a job to go to the next day and that sort of thing <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> but no they're, they're fine um, I, don't, I don't know if we want to rank them well that's easy the fresh garlic and oregano are the best I might prefer the chilli because the chilli's still got a presence of garlic and I think it's the garlic that's doing it for me Without the garlic in the chilli ones, I would say the garlic and oregano would be the best. But I think the chilli is very close. And I'm, I'm enjoying that it's like actually hot, like compared to like chilli heatwave Doritos that just aren't hot. Mm. Like they're nice, I enjoy them, but they're, they're not hot. Me so. personally. Like, I, I wouldn't buy the spicy chilli ones just because, I, like I said, I just choose not to get mm. it anymore. But, so I don't want to put them on an order. To, you know, to, be, to be fair, I think they're all that good. I don't know if I could put them in one, two, and three because I feel like if I put Tangy Macho down at third, 
it, it's like doing it a disservice because it's still a very good flavour. That's that's why I was reluctant to rank them, but I know that's what we normally do when we have a few like this, isn't it? Well, for me, it's uh, fresh garlic, onion, and thyme, and then tiny mature cheddar, just because of the added little bits of flavour. Yeah. And I don't want to put the spicy chilli in, in a rank because it's not fair, just because I, I choose not to eat them due to spicy food, because on the flip side of that, this is still a very good flavour. And the heat is definitely there without being overpowering. Yeah, I, I like all of them. So it's over to you. How would you rank them? So it's the same as you. I, I don't want to put anyone in last place. But I'd say that my favourite ones are the, the chilli and the garlic. I think I'm, I'm really enjoying the, the garlic in there. You know onion, garlic and thyme could be something to look at but then, then of course I not think... everybody likes garlic so you, if you put garlic in every, I, I think all of these I, I think garlic is the, the, the additional flavour that I'm enjoying the most but you don't always want to eat garlic so it's definitely a good call to not just put garlic in all of them even though that is kind of the best one <laughs> No, it's like with normal crisps, you know, cheese and onion. You don't always want to smell of cheese and onion crisps. No. Even though that's the best flavour. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> no, I, I, I've enjoyed them very much. Thank you very much, Alex and Greg. Um, yeah, thank you very much. For sending them. Um, anytime you feel like sending us more of these, um, just, just send them, don't even ask me. <laughs> You've got his address, just send him. Send him whatever. Yeah, just don't tell John. <laughs> yeah. So I think on that note, we'll, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, I can't think. I think we've um, sung high enough praises of these mm. uh, for just about long enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see. Oh, you next uh, time. sorry. Website link will be in the description if you want to order them. And you, if you. For those people for whom it's easier to like minimize the the YouTube video from full screen and go fishing in the description for a link instead of just typing it in Google, the link will be in the description. Awesome. <laughs> and we'll put a link of our previous video somewhere as well. Yeah, somewhere up there. Or it's already the been it's already been well at the start of the video, and we're just telling you we're putting it on there now. Yeah, yeah. You, you, if if you care, you'll find it. I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.